What's up fellow developers? How are you doing? I hope you all are doing great. So welcome back to my channel. So you already know that we have already started a new series of JavaScript and in this series we will pick up some random problems on JavaScript. So before I dive into the topic I would like to mention that these videos will going to be for those people who already have few knowledge on JavaScript. As I have already mentioned that we will pick up some random problems on JavaScript and we will solve them. So we will pick up um, our problems from a very famous website which is called hackerrank.com and you already know that I have already solved these three problems and in this video I am going to solve this problem which is function okay so let me take you there so before you start i would like to mention please read objective tax input format and output format so that you can solve these problems very easily so in this task we will have to uh, implement a function which is named factorial and this function must have to calculate the factorial of any integer n. So I'll create a function body in here. So function and the function name that is factorial and this factorial function will contain a single parameter which is n. Okay so, so here we have to return the value of factorial n, right? So uh, I'm going to solve this problem using function recursion. So I have to return the value of factorial n, right? So return, we're going to implement the factorial n using function recursion. So we have to call the factorial function here. And we will pass a single parameter which is n minus 1. Okay, so I am done with the return statement, right? So if I run this code, our code uh, should be run perfectly, right? But if I run this code, you can see this code is returning an error. So uh, what is happening here? So you already know that factorial of 0 is equals to 1 right so this is a very uh, basic thing and uh, if you have done um, problem related to factorial then you already know that uh, factorial of 0 is equals to 1 right so we have to um, put here um, if statement and here we are going to um, mention that if our user put a 0 here then it will return one right okay so if the n is equals to zero then it should return one right okay so now i am done with uh, the function and now i will run this code and if i run this code our code should be run perfectly right okay so let me run this code And you can see our code has first the sample test case so now I'm going to submit this code and you can see our code has perfectly passed all the test cases so we'll move to the next challenge and this challenge I'll solve in the next video so I'm going to wrap up this video here so if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel so thank you everyone have a good day